Hey everybody, just wanted to take a second today and make a little video regarding the CrossFit Open. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this in one take, so we don't have to have a bunch of editing in the video, but if I leave anything out, I'll be sure to communicate that with you guys. First things first, uh, we would recommend anybody at our box sign up for the Open. Even if you don't consider yourself to be a competitive CrossFitter, it's just a really interesting kind of benchmark. You get to track your progress from year to year. And a lot of years we end up retesting a workout from a previous year. And you just get to see where you stack up against other people your age or other people in your profession or even in your experience with CrossFit. If you've only been doing CrossFit for six months, you can adjust the leaderboard and uh, compare yourself with other people who've been doing CrossFit for six months. It's an awesome community event. It's motivational, it's inspirational. It uh, gives you something to train for. So uh, if you haven't signed up yet, we would highly recommend signing up. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention to you guys is that every year, gosh, for probably the past at least four years now, I think, we have done the intramural open, which is a little bit different. You don't have to be officially registered for the CrossFit open to do the intramural open. So um, the intramural open is something that's basically just geared for us at our box. Kind of little friendly competition from week to week scoring points dressing up cheering each other on it's a lot of fun so you can do the intramural open without being officially registered for the crossfit open if you want to register for the official crossfit open you need to go to games.crossfit.com and register i think it's a 20 dollars registration fee uh, a week or two ago we sent out a survey about judging for the crossfit open and that's where we're going to need some of your help the days that we're gonna do the official judging at our box are Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, we're not gonna allow anybody to do a CrossFit Open workout during a scheduled class on Monday. So if you don't get your workout done on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, maybe you're traveling, maybe you're out of town, you are welcome to come in on Monday and do your workout, uh, but there won't be an official judge there for you, and we won't be able to dedicate class time to do that, so it'll have to be something that you do during Open Gym. If you're considering doing the judges course and you pass, please text me a picture of your judges certificate, and we will be happy to reimburse you the $10 fee to take the judges course. Um, I've done it every year now for seven, eight years, and this year was, I think, probably the, the quickest year to do it, so it took me from start to finish, maybe like 45 minutes. Uh, as you complete certain sections, you can kind of pause and come back to it. So it's not something you have to do the whole time. If you're thinking about signing up for the open, I would, I would suggest also considering taking the judges course. And then that way, if you have some buddies in class, let's say it's a Friday morning and Friday mornings are the only days that you can do your official workout. I mean, obviously we only have one coach here and some of our morning classes have 20 people. So if we have six, seven, eight, ten people on a Friday morning wanting to be officially judged for their open score, it's just we don't have the time to do that with one coach. Um, so pair up with somebody. I know if Grant and I weren't coaching or Elise and I weren't coaching, I would take the course, she would take the course. You know, we would both be available to judge each other, and it works out great. You know, you both show up to a class, one person judges the person first, and then after they do that workout, they can flip-flop and do the judging. Um, another thing that you need to keep in mind, the qualification process for the CrossFit Games has gotten a lot easier. Well, I shouldn't say that. It hasn't gotten easier. It's gotten easier to move on to the next round, which is, I'm going to get my terminology mixed up. I think it's the semifinals come after the Open. And the way that works is they're going to take the top 10% of performers and they get to move on to semifinals. And we had, I think we had seven or eight people from our box last year move on to the semifinals portion. If you think you might move on to the semifinals portion of the CrossFit Open, you need to make sure that you bring a phone and or a camera with enough video recording space to do a 10, 15, or 20 minute workout. Because when you submit those, after you move past the Open, um, you, if you get the invite, top 10% get the invite to move on to semifinals, uh, your open scores are subject to video review. So that would be kind of stinky if you did all the work to get there. And then they ask you, hey, 
you know, you may move on to semifinals or you may move on to quarterfinals. We need to see your video from Open Workout 22.2. And if you don't have that, that's going to be a really sad story for you to potentially have moved on but didn't have the video proof to do that. So for those of you that are a little bit more competitive and are hoping to move on to semifinals this year, you need to not only have an official judge for your workout, but you need to video record it. And you need to, re you need to review the competition rule book. There's a PDF file on games.crossfit.com. It'll go through all of the standards and what you need to do and how you need to make sure you include the important information in your video. If you're not worried about moving on to semifinals, you have no hope to move on to quarterfinals, you don't need to record, you don't need to video record your workout. Uh, but if you are registered for the open, you do need to have an official judge. So that we're, we're not gonna do the whole like, well, you're my friend, I'm your friend, I'll vouch for you, you vouch for me, because I'm the person that has to validate all of the scores at the end of each week, and you have to have an official judge for me to validate that score. So we do ask, if you sign up for the open, if you officially register, and you think you might have the opportunity to move on to semifinals, you need to make sure you video record. And at the very least, you need to have an official judge to, to score you. Um, what else am I missing? I think I mentioned that workouts get released Thursday nights at 7 p.m. So that will not be in time for us to try to do the workouts on Thursday evening. So the first opportunity you guys will have to do your CrossFit Open Workout will be Friday morning. And like I said, we'll do them Friday morning, Saturdays, Sundays. And if you can make it in on Monday for Open Gym and you have a judge, you can do that on Monday. The other thing that I wanted to, to kind of clue you guys in on for the next three weeks is we're going to adjust our programming here at the box a little bit to accommodate the CrossFit Open. And what do I mean by that? Well. If you're, comp if you're planning to be competitive in a workout, you probably need to restructure your rest days during this time period. Like for example, I always take a rest day on Sunday, but when I'm actually gonna test the workout for real, will probably be on Saturday or Sunday. And uh, I would recommend not taking a rest day right before the day you plan to do the CrossFit Open. You might readjust your training week to take off the day before or two days before you do the open workout. So for example, if you're gonna plan to do it officially on Friday, it might be a good idea to, to avoid training on Wednesday, come in on Thursday, move your body a little bit, make sure you're primed and ready to go, that you're not sore, you don't have any tears in your hands or anything like that, and then you can go full blast on Friday. Uh, just do the math. If you want to do it officially on Saturday, it might be a good idea to take a rest day on Thursday. Come in on Friday, train a little bit, and then hit it really hard on Saturday. We are going to adjust our programming a little bit. Um, so like Wednesdays and Thursdays, the week of the Open, it's going to be a little bit lighter, a little bit easier. Um, probably Wednesday is going to be something that's a little bit more intense, but we're not going to go super heavy, but it'll probably be really fast stuff on Wednesday. So we want to make sure you're like getting the body moving and you're feeling really good. Thursdays will either be an opportunity for us to like practice some skill work, work on our transitions, or just do some long, slow endurance style workouts so nobody's getting super sore and we're not, su we're not stressing our CNS, our central nervous system before we get ready to compete. So just know for the next three weeks, Wednesdays and Thursdays are gonna look a little bit different, um, but we still wanna make sure you guys have an opportunity to get your training done. The other thing that I wanted to bring up, training, Wednesday, Thursdays, rest days, Hmm. I probably should have written this down. Training on Thursdays, rest days. I think, I think that's all that I wanted to say. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or Grant or Elise or Megan. Ask them any questions that you may have. Um, it's going to be awesome. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. We'll see you soon.